what's up guys? In this video we're going to talk about the Lyrid Meteor Shower set to peak on April the 22nd. We're also going to take a look at something very interesting that showed up over here at the National Weather Service Des Moines, Iowa page on Twitter. Something very unique spotted in the sky by Grant Webster over Iowa early yesterday morning. Almost looks like some sort of a fireball. I've looked at it very closely and I'm going to show you what I found here in just a minute. But, but first the meteor shower, if skies are clear, you might be in for a pretty good show. They're predicting anywhere from 10 to 15 per hour possibly basically what you do is just go outside and look up you don't have to look in any specific direction the meteors originate from the debris of comet thatcher c1861 g1 and this has been documented for 2700 years Lyrids do from time to time produce very bright fireballs. So you might see a good one, and then again, it may not be too much at all. It's always worth a look, though. The Lyrids can put on quite a show. We're over here at spaceweather.com, and they've got an article about the Lyrid meteor shower, and they've also got a sky map showing you where to look. Basically, you look up towards Vega, and that's kind of like right up directly overhead. You don't have to look south, you don't have to look north, just go outside and look up if the skies are clear in your area. And I will be looking myself. In fact, I'm gonna have my camera set up on record, hopefully catching a decent meteor. And if I do get one, I'm going to report it here to the American Meteor Society, which leads me back to where we started. This very large, unusual, looks like a smoke trail in the sky above Iowa, noticed by Grant Webster around 6.20 a.m. yesterday morning as the sun was rising. I didn't see any reports over here at the American Meteor Society. That's why I, I brought that up with regard to that big smoke trail in the sky because I would have thought somebody would have seen that besides Grant. Grant was very observant noticed it, took a couple of photos of it, because it didn't look like a typical contrail. I didn't see any reports over here at the American Meteor Society, but that doesn't mean other people didn't see it. I did look at this much closer to see if I could see any obvious signs of a contrail, and I couldn't. In fact, when I looked at it closer, it looked more and more like some sort of a smoke trail not a contrail. So here we go. Here's what I did. I simply took the photo and inverted it. I didn't alter it in any way. I just wanted to look at it in a, in a different light, so to speak. And that's what we did. Here it is in a negative format. And you can see that doesn't look like it come out of the, the engines of an airplane. That looks like some sort of a large fireball or the aftermath thereof, some sort of a, a, a smoke trail. I don't know if that's an early lyrid that just happened to come up after sunrise yesterday don't know could have very well been if this was out over a rural area which it could have been iowa has a lot of rural communities it's a farm state could have been don't know don't know exactly where this was spotted i know it was uh, near des moines des moines pretty good sized city but this looked like uh, more of a, a smoke trail than it did a contrail in my humble opinion got something back here on the back i, I don't know if it's just the nature of the the trail itself, but those looked a little unique. The the twisty nature of this thing, you can see how it looks like a piece of licorice. See how it's twisted over and over like it was rolling over and over? Uh, don't know. Looks very interesting though, and it does not look like, especially that, that version right there. See how it's rolled? Looks like something rolling through the sky. So great observation by Grant Webster, who sent that into the Des Moines National Weather Service office in Iowa. Excellent observation. This image here is from a webcam down in Peru where a large fireball was picked up entering the atmosphere so bright it illuminated the ocean off the coast of Peru. That was back on the 15th. So this year wouldn't surprise me if something did enter the atmosphere above, uh, it says here, eastern Iowa early Tuesday morning. Very, very interesting. Also want to take a quick look at the jet stream. I just happened to notice it over on the GO-16. I was noticing lower level clouds moving at a very good clip across the southern states here in the northern Gulf of Mexico. And you can see this, what looks like a subtropical jet stream right here. It's moving at around 150 miles per hour. If you click on that white part right there in the center where it looks like it's moving very quickly. See down here in the lower left hand corner, it's moving at 146 miles an hour. That's in the upper levels of the atmosphere, the mid-latitudes actually, which isn't uncommon. I've seen it over 200 many, many times, 
but it looked like it was influencing the lower clouds. So look for severe weather in the coming days, Wednesday, Thursday, in the areas uh, you see this very extreme wind that's going to cause wind shear. And that, in turn, could produce extreme weather in Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Mississippi, the, the same places that have been seeing it over and over again here recently. Large hail down in Queensland the other day. Look at that. Some of that stuff looks like it's baseball, even softball size. This occurred back on the 18th. These large hailstones fell from the sky down in Queensland along the Gold Coast of Australia. Now we're going to hop over to a picture slideshow I put together that's got some really good stuff in it. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. Working on many, many more, guys. Svarbar out of Iceland, something unique up in the sky, high above the North Atlantic. Look at that. It's like a dragon up in the sky. Incredible. Bob H., Arlington, Texas. Gold beetle. There's the original photo Bob shared with me a few days ago. That is really neat. Bob travels. He's a truck driver, so he gets a lot of photos from different parts of the country. This here is out of Memphis. He lives down in Texas. He shared these with me. Photos taken by Neil Smith of a fantastic shelf cloud. Look at that. You can almost, it looks like you can reach up and touch it. It was so low to the ground and very, very photogenic. Look at that. Simply amazing. Great job by Neil. Uh, Neil Smith. I wish I knew the location. I want to say it's in the Memphis, Tennessee area, but I'm not sure. This is out of Tennessee. Charlie W. Very unique round structure up in the sky. David K. out of Sunset Beach, California. Clouds rising up into the sky. Almost looks like a supercell forming. Josh A. of a spectacular sunset. Look at that. Keith S. out of Kaufman, Texas. Looks like he might have caught the same sunset. Maybe at a slightly different time. They almost look identical. Paul H., an awesome view of the moon. Looks bright orange. Olive Branch, Mississippi. Paula and Phil, been seeing a lot of extreme halos here recently. And what I mean by extreme, here's one from Plainfield, Illinois by Sarah J. They're very, very intense. Here's another intense double rainbow sent in by Drew out of Allen, Texas. He just said it's unbelievable. And these things are, they're, they're quite magnificent to see in person. And, and people are always compelled to pull out their smartphones, their recording devices, and start recording. I mean, they are truly spectacular. Ahmed G. out of Algeria near the Sahara Desert. Unusual storm over in the Sahara. It looks like a thunderstorm, not a dust storm, a thunderstorm. Great photo sent in by Ahmed from Algeria. Laurel, Mississippi, Jan W. Some very unique low clouds in the sky over Mississippi. Again, almost look like you could reach up and touch them. Then got that unique color in the proximity of the sun. It's like a, a, an orange donut up in the sky. Miss P, I'm not exactly sure of the location, but this is what compelled her to take the photos of this cloud. Looks like a random wispy cloud, except for the two right angles in the middle of the cloud. See them right there? Look like a couple of triangles. That's why she took the photo. Samantha C out of Kentucky. Another fiery orange sunrise or sunset. Shiner D out of Idaho. Spectacular looking storm clouds over the state of Idaho. Look at that. Tucson, Arizona, Jason M. Got a very low roll cloud down here in southern Arizona. And then this one here, I'm going to pause it for just a second. Got some unique clouds in the sky and a, and a very sharp line right there that separates the clouds from basically infinity. And then you've got something that looks like it swept right through those lower clouds right there. See it? Left a very defined line right there doesn't look natural. It looks like something caused that. doesn't look like random clouds. Like the rest of them look very random, except for right there and right there. And that's from Southern Arizona by Jason M. Great observation. Looks like something definitely went through the clouds there. Maybe it was an airplane. Another photo by Jason out of Tucson, Arizona. Good observation. Big halo out of Arizona. Just a very impressive dark halo. Spokane, Washington, Mark. Notice the clouds and a big wedge shape up in the sky. Look at that. Looks like a big, massive mothership just moving across the screen from left to right. 
And that's exactly why he took the photo over here. You got clear blue skies, big wedge over on the left. Albuquerque, New Mexico, Bob H., as he was driving through New Mexico, went through a storm and managed to capture this incredible lightning strike, made contact with the ground. Sherry L. out of Alabama noticed the radar had an unusual, what looked like a, a donut in the middle of the radar. Typically, this is a Doppler signature, okay? We see these all the time. This one looks kind of unique. A, a Doppler signature is very crisp, usually in the center. Um, um, it's very defined. There's no mistaking it. You can tell it is a man-made digital artifact. This one doesn't necessarily look super crisp on the edges like most of the Doppler signatures that I've seen. That's all. I, I don't know what could have caused it, but good observation. Nature N8, another spectacular halo in the proximity of the sun. Orange skies here, that is absolutely spectacular. D. Whitaker, this is from Austria. Purple skies above the mountains there. That is a hallmark moment. Matt from Ensenadas, California. Notice this cloud up in the sky or this cloud structure that looked like their dog, the family pet. How about that? That's real. That was actually in the sky above California, shaped just like a poodle. How about that? Now that's something you don't see every day. If you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on this bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, just double check. Make sure they're both still activated. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. And sometimes I use the photos in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.